welcome back, Authenticate fans. You might have wondered where I've been. I haven't released an assembly video for ages, it seems. So does that mean everything is winding down? No, quite the opposite, in fact, because what I've been up to is helping others use Authenticate technologies to make new flight controls that are fully Authenticate compatible and will just plug into your existing universal hub. Don't worry, I am still working on that P-51 throttle, but I think that the really exciting phase of this Authenticate project is just about to begin. In fact, the first of these third-party controls will be with you any day now. So that is what I'll be talking about in this summer update video. And along with that, I'm going to be talking about a new way to source components. These boxes are called construction kits and they contain all the standard components you need to make any Authenticate flight control. All the bearings, the sensors, the magnets, the tricky to find stuff if you've been scouring the web for parts. Anyway, more of that later. By the way, if you think you've seen the Spitfire footage before, it's from my buddy Tactical Pascal's Spitfire Mark IX tutorial, which he kindly said I could use. It's a great tutorial and I'll include a link below. I will also link to his review of the Authenticate Spitfire throttle and trim wheels. And the reason I'm showing Spitfire footage is that we have a bunch more Spitfire stuff coming. So don't worry Spitfire fans, you have not been forgotten. In fact, the very first of these third party controls is gonna be this amazing device. It's a Spitfire gun sight. I would never have thought to make this myself. It was designed by a guy called Harry who I expect you will hear a lot more about. He built a prototype and I've been working with him to tweak it. In fact, here it is. One of the other guys has already printed it and is using it. And it allows you to set the range of your enemy aircraft with the top wheel and the wingspan with the lower wheel. So you can target your enemy with pinpoint accuracy. And it just plugs straight into the universal hub. So be sure to subscribe if you want to know about that. I'm really hoping to get that released in the next week or 10 days. So, what else do we have coming for the Spitfire? Well, how about this beauty? This is the blind flying panel that contains the classic six pack of primary instruments used in just about all aircraft. This was made by Casu, and again, I've been working with him to tweak it a little to simplify assembly and develop a mounting system so it can go right next to your flaps lever and be positioned in just the right place. Although it won't initially be functional, he has actually designed it so that the altimeter and gyro calibration knobs are functional and can input to your sim. Anything else you ask? Well yes there is! In fact one of these is available already. It is a set of Mark IX rudder pedals. It's just the pedals themselves because they can be fitted to a standard MFG crosswind rudder set. This isn't Strictly an Authenticate device, I guess, as it doesn't use the Universal Hub, but it's a great upgrade, goes well with the Mark IX, and you can download the files for it right now from download.authenticate.org. I'm also still working with Harry again on a radiator lever for the earlier Spitfires. And here's Harry's prototype. I'm afraid I don't know a time frame for getting that finished just now, so stay tuned to this channel. I'll let you know when I have a better update. So. Let's wrap up this section with a fabulous image sent by Raffle of his Authenticate cockpit incorporating everything you can currently get for the Mark IX. He's got the chassis lever. He's got the flaps lever and the gun sight. He's got the throttle, the elevator and rudder trim wheel. Got the rudder pedals and of course, the iconic spade grip flight stick. Okay, so I've stuck my neck out already and I've stated that the gun sight will come first. What's next, you ask? Well, I think it's a close call between the blind flying panel and, well, have you guessed? Yes, our good friend Dennis made a short video a little while ago about the Mosquito Fighter Bomber controls that were in development, again by Harry. And we are very close now with the throttle quadrant. I have most of the parts printed myself and we've got an extra guy on board helping us finish the documentation. So I'm really hoping that this is either a July release or an early August. And that will be the first of several controls 
with trim wheels, flaps and more to follow. Don't tell me there's even more. Yes, folks, there is more, and I am delighted. We are going to have some representation, finally, from our German friends. There are actually a couple of BF109 projects on the go at the moment, but this throttle unit is looking like it will be the first one to the finish line. There's already a working prototype created by Dutch, but again, I've been sticking my nose in to try and standardize a few things and make it a simple swap-in for the existing throttle units. It looks fantastic, don't you think? And when he's finished that, he's already making great progress on a combined trim and flaps wheel unit, so I can see a whole set of 109 controls coming this year. Well, that concludes the projects which have already reached prototype stage. But there are other teams working on yet more authenticate flight controls. One in particular is exciting in that it will be the first non-combat aircraft, and a twin engine at that. It's a throttle unit for the beautiful Boeing 247D. The team at Wing 42 have collaborated with us by sharing the CAD for their Microsoft Flight Simulator version to help us build it. We're currently still in the design phase, but once this is out, it should be a simple path towards a DC-3, which I'd personally love to get my hands on. So folks, that's where we are at the end of June 2022. It is really exciting how the Authenticate community is building and the pace is just accelerating. We're only halfway through our second year. Another six months from now and we could have dozens of flight controls available and all for free download for your immersive flight sim cockpit. And that leads me onto this next news item. I've been discussing the implications of this with Ruben at Sim Kit Supplies, who provides ready-made kits and parts for Authenticate flight controls. And it's pretty clear that the stock keeping is going to become a big challenge. The beauty of this project, of course, compared with commercial manufacturers, is that we aren't restricted to making stuff that is going to be a commercial success. So there will be some items that will only appeal to a few people, and it wouldn't be possible for Ruben to always make up a kit for them. So, he's come up with another option, and it's called construction kits. In the last year I've been establishing a definitive set of components that all flight controls can be made from. I'll put a link in the description on the webpage if you want to source each one individually. But to make it a whole lot easier, SimKit Supplies is now selling construction kits containing everything you need. The bearings, the sensors, and the slightly more obscure stuff that's a little harder to find or expensive if you only want one or two. And this, folks, is what they look like. There are actually two main ones. This is construction kit one, and it contains all the components there's enough in here for five axes, three fire buttons, three trim wheels, and a whole lot more. Enough to build the new Mosquito FB throttle, or the Mustang P51 pedestal. And if you haven't built the P40B throttle and trim wheels, there's enough for that, as well as the new gun sight. If you check the prices for sourcing these parts, I think you'll find this kit is great value. In fact, it better be cheaper, as that is my condition with Ruben for recommending him. Now, if you're a keen Authenticate builder, you will, of course, run out of some stuff. But don't worry, you don't have to buy a whole new box if all you need, say, is a few more bearings. There will also be refill packs. The parts in this box are grouped into sections that kind of go together. And there are five refill packs in total. You've got the Axis refill pack, and that contains hall sensors, bearings, magnets, nitrile bonded cork discs, also hydraulic dampers, there we go, and uh, ball spring detents. You've got the levers and wheels section, that's over here. You've got the fire away pack. There's a spade specials section here, and then a miscellaneous section. And the miscellaneous includes uh, felt and a good length of all the wires that you need. I said there were two construction kits because this is construction kit two. And this contains a good number of all the types of screw that you'll need in Authenticate flight controls. So you've got the really tiny self-tapping stuff up to the 50 mil long M4 round heads. And this is great value as well compared to buying all of these separately. Of course, I'll put a link in the description 
of where you can buy these from SimKit Supplies. I should point out that these are the parts to build the controls themselves. You'll still need the universal hub to plug them into, and unless you're making a custom rig system, you'll need the monitor stand and extension kits. But those are a one-off. Oh, and by the way, how do you like my coffee cup? This is a new thing too. I do like this logo, it was created by a friend of mine and I thought it would be nice on some coffee cups. So I got that organized and yeah, if you want one of your own, there's a link in the description of where you can get one. Well, that's all I have time for now, folks. Like I said, my next video should be coming very soon and it will be for the Spitfire gun sight. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to know when that is out. After that, I hope new controls will be coming thick and fast. I've got a sneaky feeling that 2022 is going to be a hell of a year for Authenticate.